look at that, it's sunny. There's literally not a cloud. I'm so happy right now. How long have we been waiting for this? Can we just take a moment? Honestly, I am just, I feel like we've had all of winter, we've had all this lockdown stuff. And today, I don't know, I just feel like it's switched. And I know it's only a little bit of sun, but it's it's warmer. I just feel so happy and so grateful. And I just I just wanted to just come and say hello and just share. I was gonna, it's gonna be a bit about training actually, because very briefly, um, this is kind of like a, a week off training. So I've got like a couple of like 90 minute rides, which is, this is one of them. And oh my day, I am just so chuffed. Basically there's gonna be, like there's, there's, I love two different, you know this, you know that I like two types of training. I like just coming out on adventures and I love like the, the numbers and like getting fitter and feeling fitter and stronger. So there will be an FTP coming up. However, this week is just a steady week and this could not have been a better day for me to come out and do a 90 minute ride because, I mean, look at this. I just can't even tell you like how, oh, well you can, you can probably tell from my face how I'm feeling. And I think, um, cause tonight, this is Monday. So when you see this, it'll be Wednesday. So tonight we've got like another announcement from Boris. Um, so potentially in England, I think we're going to be able to ride in groups of six at the end of March. Uh, Cause at the minute you can only ride with one other person. Um, and I think, I'm just going to sit back down. I feel like I can concentrate more when I'm sat down. I don't know why that is. Anyone else like that? Um, I think, um, like for me, I think, how many times can I say it? I think for this lockdown and just in general, for me, the main thing that I've done that is, like, I guess got me through, because I think everyone's felt some kind of struggle some way along this, is gratitude. And I think that for me is one of my, what's the word, strong points maybe? Like I can always find something to be grateful for or something to be thankful for. And like even in lockdown, like I felt so lucky that I could still ride my bike. Like how lucky were we that we were still able to ride bikes? How lucky were we that we, like for me personally anyway, that like my, um, luckily my job wasn't affected by it. And how lucky that we, that you know, we have our health and it's stuff like that that makes you really realize how lucky we are. And I'm not saying that for, not for everybody because I think people went through different, you know, struggles and stuff throughout lockdown and I'm really sorry if you you know lost anyone like to, to Covid because I can't even imagine and I think sometimes we have to be so like always try and look for the positives and stuff and obviously I'm not saying that if you you know you had a death or something that you can find positive in that I just mean generally because there's so much to be thankful for like it's like today like I could be like, oh, you know, we're not going to be able to ride in a group of six until like another month. But actually I get to ride my bike. I'm healthy. I get to experience just sunshine and that view, like it makes me, it almost makes me a little bit tear. God, you know, I'm soft. But I think because I've not been out and been able to ride with like no gloves and like experiences for so long, I just feel so grateful. And that is something that I would encourage you to do. Even And I, I know there's a lot of people that talk about like gratitude journals and, you know, writing things at the end of the day. I, I don't I don't even do that. Like I try and be grateful, like every little moment that I can think of something to be grateful for, I do it. Even if it's raining, maybe I'm a bit, a bit sad for doing this. Even if it's raining bad and I'm in my house, I'm like, oh, I'm so lucky that I've got a lovely warm bed to, to, like, to, to just get cozy in. Or like that I've got food in the fridge or that I've got lovely family and lovely friends and I just think there's always something to be grateful for. And this today, is this, this is my today what I'm grateful for. Also, I would also say, also, also, God, this is a long, I'm gonna have to cut this down. Maybe I won't. Um, one book that literally changed my life about gratitude, that's a big part of it, is called The Power. I have talked about it before, but I am 
I am telling you, that was the book that I would say had the most impact on me throughout my whole life. And that was one of the major things that helped me get into the job that I'm doing now, obviously like YouTube, and just made me so grateful, I guess. So honestly, I recommend that book to anybody. Get You can get it on audio, but you can get it on Audible. You can get it, you just buy it. I actually, I've actually bought a copy last night because um, I'm actually doing a bit of a challenge. I will tell you about that in another video. But part of that challenge is to read more non-fiction books. And I have it on Audible, but I want to have a physical copy just to be able to, to dip in and out of every day. So yeah, definitely I recommend that. Right, I think... I'm just going to have 10 minutes just to hear there's a lovely horse back there as well so I'm going to go and say hello to the horsey and just have a lovely ride back home. Look, oh I can't get to you. Hi horsey. Hello. Hi. Oh I don't have any food. I've got some Kendall mint cake. Do can horses eat Kendall mint cake? They don't like giving a horse polos. So, I mean, a woman the other day did give her horse a polo. Do you want to, yeah, go on then. Go on then, I'll give you a bit of Kendall a minute. There you go. <laughs> oh, hello. Did you like that? Hi, horsey. God, look at the size of it. I didn't how big that was. It's a beast, isn't it? Goodbye. See you next video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed if you want some more horsey action uh, and some more beautiful views. Right. See you next video. You haven't actually got much food, have you? Where's your hay? Can I give you some of this? How about that? Well, you'll eat anything, won't you? By it looks. Make sure there's nothing sharp in there. Just want some grass, don't you?